Hello guys and welcome back with another video about Star Stable. Okay, so Star Stable Online is the game we are going to play today. The previous episode, which was the first episode, obviously, we already started a little bit and we wrote a little bit already. We did a little competition and that reason for it is, of course, because that's just the way the tutorial goes and the quest go. Um, so, um... Yeah, the last thing she said for us to do is to go to Justin um, for whatever reason he needs us right now. So let's just do that. I guess we just have to do that right now. So, and he should be at the yard. So let's just get there and find out what he needs us for. Okay, so here is Justin. Oops, we went way too fast. <laughs> okay, there he is. Hi again, Letitia. Having a good time with Ember Happen? Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, so that's great um sometimes when completing a quest you are rewarded with an item you can double click um the item in your backpack to use it or drag and drop item from your backpack into the right slot in your character cheat you can also um buy better stuff in the stores i don't know is this thing really better it has one jumping and one carrying wait i don't even know what this does though I don't know. Is it going to be better? What does this do? Nothing. Okay, then I guess it is better. <laughs> okay, can we not like, I don't know, um, sell this thing? <laughs> I don't know, we don't even eat. We don't even need it. So okay. Okay, so we have something new on that's great. Um, what does he say? My dad Thomas wants to meet you. Apparently he wants to ask you about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Campbell, a nasty boss from the company GED, is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and, buy and build luxury condos here. We're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's as slippery as an eel. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable, near Jenna. You know the girl who showed you the square track. Okay. Talk to Thomas Moreland, the owner of the Moreland stables. Okay, we can do that. There he is. Okay, so we rode, we rode past him a few times already, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I really want to go past the shops too, by the way. I'm um, just saying. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for coming so fast, Letitia. The situation with Mr. Campbell from GED is getting out of hand and I need your help. Wow. Okay. I just heard that he has almost convinced the council that GED has the rights to the land and there is hardly any time left to stop him. Right now his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land but I need to I need time to uh, to prove that to the council. Can you uh, can you help me save Moreland stables? Wow, we have, we just arrived here and we already have to save the stables. But okay. We have to delay Mr. Campbell's surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting them up in the area outside the stable, between here and the hills where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. Okay. That's great. I guess. <laughs> I'm feeling like we already are doing so much for them right now, but okay. Oh, I see one right here, for example. And there, and there. Okay. I wish I could just grab them like that, but okay. Okay, so I guess it was to the right here. 
I mean, I'm just guessing right now. Yeah, I'm seeing one right here. Just like we saw earlier. Okay, we have that. Um, now there was another one here, right? And where's the other one? Oh, there we see another one. Well, there I see another one. Why do we keep saying things like that? I don't even know. Okay. We have one right here. Now we still need to do two more. And then I have one right here. Okay, we delayed them long enough, apparently. Okay. Splendid. Good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now I've got at least a little time to build my case against Mr. Campbell for the council. Okay. What I'm going to do, Letitia? Well, Mr. Campbell is really putting pressure on me with all these legal with all these legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I just had a little more time. Hmm. He, if he wants to play dirty, I'll show him that he has met his match. Let's see, right past the blacksmiths and up towards the hills. Along the road, there is a power distribution box, just where the road turns at the construction site. It should be possible to turn off that horrible sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Okay, great. That should buy us some more time. Okay, let's go do it, I guess. So, uh, I guess it's upright. I'm not even sure. I'm, oh no, that seems to be some kind of mine or something. I don't know. Okay, then we have to just go further, 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 further. And here's a blacksmith. Okay, past the blacksmith. Okay, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Oh yeah, I see the sign already. So now where's the board um, that we can... Oh, here is a switch. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we've turned it off. Okay, now we just have to return, I guess. We wrote like, like this. Oh yeah, and then we have a, we have we can go right here. Okay, that's nice. I mean, I think the 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 scenery is quite beautiful. Just saying. Oh, that one has a beautiful horse too. I wish I had that one. <laughs> okay. Thomas Moreland. Haha, <laughs> I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way over here. Now I have a bit more time. Just what I needed. Now we don't have to see that horrible GED sign anymore. Okay. All I need to do is prove that I actually own the land. Then I can stop Mr. Campbell. There is a deed to the Moreland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in a castle. I can't find the documents here, but I think our old accountant, Miss Holdsworth, must now must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about our business. She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the flowers outside her little cottage. Go see her. She, sh she should be able to tell you where the documents are. You can find her in the little red wooden cottage just outside the stables close to the beach. Okay, yeah, I, I guess we can do that. So I see that there is something over there and if I go like that, yeah, that should work. Okay, let's go there. Oh yeah, I see the red wooden cabin already.
There she is. Okay. Why, hello there. What can I do for you? Okay. Hmm. I let, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Moreland's wife, Catherine, died in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father, and there is a good chance that the title date was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born, of course, is Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they, have, they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tra tragedy that this feud has been going on for so long. But if anyone has a title deed, it would be old man Jasper. It wouldn't be com easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find, an you'll find old man Jasper along the road, leading to Fort Pinta, close to a wall. Press M on the keyboard or click on the mini-map. To open the map, you'll see him as a small green exclamation mark on the map. Good luck there. Okay. So where is that? Here. So if I now turn like this, okay, yeah, okay, there we go. That is how we are going to find him, just going along that road. Okay, I see it closing in, so he must be very close. I see, I see an old man over there. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it seems like our horse doesn't really like this old man, but okay. Jasper. Well, you've found me, and now you can leave me alone again. Wow, okay, that's some respect, yo. Bah, what do I care if Moreland Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter, and I have hated the Moorlands for the better part of 20 years. If you think you can change that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. Okay, find a way to weaken Jasper's resolve. Maybe Justin can find something to help you. Okay, I think we know how to go to Justin, so let's do that. Oh, look, a cute little bee. Oh. Okay, let's go to Justin and find out what could help to convince this old man to help save Moreland, basically. I mean, it's also his grandson's business, so maybe he should actually try and help us, but okay. I mean, I also got the old man. How would you be? There is Justin already. Hey, Letitia, have you been to see my grandfather, Jasper? That crazy old man hates us and nothing would please him more than see our stable race to the ground. Okay. I don't know how I could make that old fool of a grandfather change his mind. I know that my mom really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible thing. I have these letters from my mom and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realize that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Maybe you can show him. Take these letters and show them to Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. Okay, we can do that. By the way, how much money do we have right now? I don't even know. Uh, that was not what I was going for. I was actually going for this. Okay, so we have 130 Eurovic shillings. I don't know if that's much or not, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, so let's go um, and go to Jasper again. And then I guess it was this way, right? Guess it should have been. So, okay. Ooh. 
What, are you here again? What's with all that paper? Let me have a look at that. It looks really old. I recognize their handwriting. Is it true? Were they really written by my daughter? When I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I've been such a proud idiot all these years, and it cost me my grandson. Sob, sob. Okay, yeah. Boo-hoo. I have the title deed, and of course, I will give it to Thomas Moreland. That slime ball, Mr. Campbell, is a disgrace to this island. Here is a key to my deposit box in Fort Penta. You'll find the title deed inside. Collect it and bring the key back to me before it, you say anything to Thomas Moreland. Okay. I guess that's fine. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Okay, so let's go do that then. For now on you from now on you can ride across my land whenever you want. You will get to Fort Pinta by following the Fort Pinta Road here. You'll find the deposit box at the notary in the Fort Pinta main building. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so I just guess we have to go through there. Okay, let's try. Let's try and find those documents he's been talking about. Where's that girl standing over there? Okay, it doesn't matter. We are just going to go to there. Wait, 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 what? What is going on over here? Hey, now I just really want to know. I mean, I guess those documents go wait. Oh my god, are these all the horses that are for sale? Oh my god, okay. Let's just go and have a look. I see some beauties, definitely. And I definitely want to have a look at all of them. For example, this one. It's a Jorvik warm blood like my own, okay. But it costs 750, what the heck yo? And it's, oh, okay, it's a currency that we can't even get. Wow, how nice. Also Jorvik warm blood. I guess we can't actually buy any horses. Jeez. And what is that? Also a Jorvik warm blood, but a really beautiful one. Definitely. And this one? What are you, my dear? A threatener. Okay, but they are cute too. I like them. And this one? I would think a venner? But no, it's a shire. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't do these things. <laughs> and what are you? English thoroughbred. Well, I think he's cute in a way, but not cute enough, according to me. 425. Well, nope. We don't have the money for that, apparently. Oh, and by the way, for you, what was that again? 940 friggin' nine? How? How am I supposed to get that money? I really wish I knew. Jorvik Warmblood, okay, and then this must be a halflinger over here. I guess it's a halflinger. Hey, okay, the halflinger, indeed. 810. Wow, okay, nice. And are there any other horses here, or is that all? I mean, I don't mind it. It's, they are cute horses. Oh my god, those gypsy banners. I would love those. Okay, no, apparently that was all. Okay. Then, now let's go on to Fort Pinza. Okay, a blue horse. I didn't see that coming, but okay. There we are. We are at Fort Pinta. Let's have a look around. Oh my god, I see... I see Jepsy Vanners. Hee <laughs> hee. I love Jepsy Vanners. Okay. Here. Clyde's there. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's 
watch the cards now. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. But okay, I mean, it's a beautiful horse. It's definitely a beautiful horse. And if I would have the money, I would definitely buy it. What is with this amber mane? Not that I want it, but uh, okay. And I see an Arabian over there. What? Really? Okay. Percheron? Nope. Hello, my dear Arabian. How are you feeling today? Oh, it's so cute. But 950? 900 freaking 50 for a black Arabian? Okay. I wish I kind of had that money, but I kind of don't. Okay, and I see some more on here. So let's try and find which horses are really cute. Oh my god, this one is super cute. Okay. It's a Lusitano. Of course, that's why it's so cute. Okay. Connemara. Also really cute. I see a Fjord. Also really cute. It's a cutie. A cutie patootie. And then we have this one. North Swedish horse. Really cute. This one must be an Appaloosa. No, it's a Jorvik Warmblood. Okay. And then the Lapisana here. Also very cute. But then I think I like the Lusitano a little bit better. Whoops. Uh, well, let's just go around here then, uh, I guess. Okay, a pony with a hat on. Wow, okay, nice. Where do we have to be? Where do we have to be? Oh, I guess they're actually telling us to go here. So, I mean, we're basically very close to where we have to be. Oh, and what is this with the mailbox? I really want to know. So, maybe I should check that out first. Oh, we have gifts. Okay. Ah, yeah, of course, that... um item I guess we can delete that now take item and delete take item and delete okay um, maybe we could pick this one then I mean it looks really cute um, I guess we have to do it like this then just put it like right over here I don't even know oh that's for the tail decorations okay okay so now we have a cute little saddle back okay that's really nice I don't know about these other items yet but okay that looks really nice look at that it's so cute okay let's go here because apparently they want us to go here you would like to change that name of your horse no jeez why would i want to change the name of my horse are you completely out of your mind okay maybe i guess that we have to look in here and do something with that key okay that works okay so we have the deed right now do we have to go back to jasper or do we have to go to thomas moreland let's just find out it's on the same way anyway oh and all of those shops i really want to go there later What the heck is that kind of horse? I don't even know. Let's just go. The 
disappearing. Horses seems to be a normal thing. I don't know. Oh yeah, probably because we have to give him the key back. Thanks for getting the title deed. There are the old legal documents that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moreland Stables. And you brought my key back too? Great, thank you. Thanks once again. Okay. All documents for Thomas. Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm after 20 years in the cold. Young lady, I give you this title deed to Moreland Stables. You have certainly earned it. Thomas will definitely be happy now. Yes, okay, thank you. Oh, and we got something new? Really? I don't see it here. And why did it say that we got something new? Oh, probably because we get that once we are back there. Could be. It is probably that, okay. So tell him what you have done and I want to see him as soon as possible. It may not be much, but at least it is an attempt to try to start repairing 20 years of bitterness and a way for this old fool to say sorry. Okay, so we give the letters to and Amala to Justin Moreland. Okay, we can do that. We're on that way anyway, so why not? Also, again, a beautiful horse. Oh, those beautiful horses. Okay, nice. Are they following us or something? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. Wh what the heck just happened? Okay. This feud has been going on for far too long and it's finally come to an end. All thanks to you. You will always be very special friend to us here at Moreland Stables. Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go and go to Thomas, I guess it was. Yes. Okay, so let's go to him right now. Holy horses, you saved the stables from demolition. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moreland Stables, and it's all thanks to you. I will show this to the council, and then Mr. Campbell will have no choice but to stop the construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Wow. Great. Okay, so now I do believe... Um... We have this, we have these pans. I don't know if they do anything or what is even better. So let's just have a look at that. So they have for one jumping and one carrying and this doesn't do anything again, I guess. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. So let's just have this one here. And this, what does this do? Command. Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm just going to keep up with this one then, but okay, thank you, there. Okay. Well, it's a hat decoration, so I wouldn't know why not. Let's put it on here. I mean, we got it anyway, so why not do it? Okay, so is there anything we should do now? I have some fantastic news. I noticed that you have a great hand with Amber H Haven, and I took the liberty of speaking with the owners. They moved from Jorvik a couple of years ago and now live on the other side of the world. They will probably not be back in Jorvik for many, many years, and I've told them about you and how great you and Amber Haven are together, and even though they love Amber Haven, they're willing to sell you Amber Haven for only 300 Jorvik shillings. That's a great price and a fantastic opportunity for you. I understand that maybe you don't have that much money yet, but don't worry, there are many ways to make that kind of money around here, and if you have some determination and are not afraid of honest work, come back to me when you have the money and I will be happy to give you the deed of ownership. Oh my god, yes, we are definitely going to do that, but not right now, we only have 230, but we'll definitely get to that at some point. So, again, it's pretty much time right now, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
please leave a like to, to, um like if you haven't done already subscribe turn your post notifications so that you never miss a single video and i hope i see you next time in the next episode episode three of start stable online